Lee Diane, I'm inside the Michigan Museum of Horror in downtown Monroe. They have about 2,500 artifacts here, and the grand opening is tomorrow night. But tonight, we're going to give you a sneak peek. Human skulls, different horror artwork, horror memorabilia, uh, really unique pieces. You know, we got the piece of uh, carpet that Dimebag Daryl from Pantera was killed on. Nate Thompson has assembled the collection to bring chills up your spine. My goal is that we'll have different horror movie exhibits come in here as well. Nate is putting the finishing touches on his assortment of oddities. Starting tomorrow, it will all be on display in downtown Monroe as part of the Michigan Museum of Horror. One of the biggest things to us was we wanted to make sure that we got this Halloween season. But yeah, no, this is a year-round horror attraction, so we'll be open every Thursday through Sunday. Upstairs, you'll find a separate collection called the Michigan Mortuary Museum. These are artifacts from funeral homes that came from the founders of the Anatomy of Death Museum in Mount Clemens. Because a lot of the times the funeral directors will just throw it away. So the history is just getting pitched in the garbage. So we want to show people this is the history of the funeral business. The goal is to bring perspective to the macabre, so it's not a haunted house. Uh oh. Is somebody banging on a coffin? I don't know. Or is it? The Michigan Mortuary Museum upstairs inside the Michigan Museum of Horror. They open tomorrow with a grand opening for details, prices, times, location. You can go to our website, 13abc.com, and click the link. In Monroe, Tony Geftis, 13ABC Action News.